Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video for you because it is me trying a brand that I have never used before. Um, it's somewhat of a first impression. I say somewhat because I did try to film this video one time before and it was on a day where it was so hot and I was just sweating and it was just a hot mess so I decided not to use the footage but yeah, you get to see me try on a whole heap of stuff from Youngblood Cosmetics. Um, this is a mineral makeup brand and from what I've read it was formulated using minerals to suit people who have just come out of like surgery on their face, you know if you've had like microdermabrasion or whatever and your skin's still healing. It's also suited for mature skin and sensitive skins. Because it is mineral makeup it is really really lightweight and breathable, like my face right now feels so weightless. Like normally when I do a full face like this it's, you know, I can, I can tell that I've got the makeup on there but right now it feels so light and airy so for you people that don't like wearing a ton of makeup this would be great and evidently also great for those of you who like doing full glam. Standout products for me were definitely the contour kit, I love the cream blushes, the lip liner, the matte eyeshadows were so good. I do want to give a disclaimer that ry.com.au did send me these products to try on camera for you guys but in no way am I being paid to make this video. I just love RY and I've shopped there for such a long time. I think they're such a great Australian online store. They also do ship internationally. Um, and when they contacted me and said, hey, do you want to try some Youngblood stuff for your audience? I was like, yes, I would love to because I love supporting online stores that I love. So I will list it below in the description box just so you guys can go and have a browse if you feel like treating yourself. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So now let's get into the tutorial. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Mwah. So I've just prepped my skin as normal. The first product that I have to try out is the Youngblood Liquid Mineral Foundation. This is really beautiful, kind of like light coverage and very, very moisturizing. The packaging looks like this. It's just very simple black packaging and it has a pump as well, which is the most important thing in my opinion. It is quite liquidy as well, which I like because it means it blends out really effortlessly. So as you can see, that's just one light layer. I feel like my skin is definitely evened out. It hasn't covered up absolutely everything. Like I've got a couple of little breakouts up here and it hasn't completely covered them. But overall, my skin complexion is very, very even. And I think that's really nice for an everyday kind of look. And then I would normally just add concealer over the top of any blemishes. I am gonna add another layer over the top just so we can see how it builds up on the skin. So that is with two layers on and it's definitely given me a bit more coverage. It builds up so easily, it does not go cakey. It's also not catching on to any of my dry patches. I feel like I've got pretty dry skin lately and most of my foundations are grabbing a little bit on certain areas that are quite dry, but this foundation doesn't do that at all. Also, I forgot to mention the color that I have in this foundation is sand. It is a really, really good match for my fair skin at the moment. So now I'm gonna move on to the brows and you guys know that I like to always set just above my brows with a bit of translucent powder before I fill them in. So today we're going to be using the Youngblood High Definition Hydrating Mineral Perfecting Powder. It's so finely milled. Like it just sinks right into the skin and really doesn't even look too much like powder. For brows today we're going to be using the Youngblood Brow Artiste. I have this in the shade Dark. And this is one of the standout products from this range for me. I absolutely love this little kit. I think you can achieve such natural yet defined brows with it. As you can see, I have been using this one a little bit. It comes with a wax and then two shades of brow powder, a darker one and a lighter one. You also get little mini tweezers and a brush and a spoolie applicator thing, which I actually think is pretty decent. Like normally the little brushes you get in these things are like meh, whatever, but this is actually really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of the wax on the spoolie first and just comb that through my brows. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mix the two colors together and just sort of fill that in from the midsection to tail end of my brow. And then towards the front half of the brow, I'm just gonna take the lighter color and fill in very softly there. 
So as you can see, you can get quite natural yet defined brows with this kit. I like to do my brows a little bit on the bold side, but you could definitely achieve even more natural brows. Next, we're going to use the Youngblood Stay Put Eye Prime. And I really like this little thing. It's in like a little compact like this and it's a cream. As you can see, the foundation has sort of creased um, in my eyelids, which means that we definitely need a primer to put down. This one gives a lovely amount of coverage, so it really helps to cancel out any um, discoloration and veins on your eyelids to prep it for eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna go back in with that loose powder that we used before and I'm just gonna set over the top of the eyelids. This is gonna help our eyeshadows blend really, really beautifully kind of made my eyelashes all white. <laughs> For eyeshadow today, I'm starting off with this Perfect Pear Mineral Eyeshadow Duo. This one is in the color Virtue, and it has a beautiful matte white color. I'm gonna take a flat brush and just use the white to highlight on my brow bone. This white blends out really nicely as well, so it's not gonna stay like super, super harsh on your brow bone, but it's just gonna add a nice natural matte highlighted effect. So I've just gone ahead and added some matte crease colors into my eyes. I didn't have any ones from Youngblood to use, but if you're interested in what I did use, um, I'll list it in the description box down below. For the outer half of the lid, I'm going to go back into the Virtue <laughs> duo and I'm going to take that beautiful metallic. I'm going to dampen my brush just to get a little bit more intensity of pigment. I do this with a lot of eyeshadows when I just want that little bit more you know. Now I'm going in with this light pink shade from the Charismatic Duo and I'm going in with a damp brush again and I'm gonna add this to that little like inner part of the lid that we don't really have any eyeshadow on at the moment. Now I'm gonna go into that dark plummy matte brown also from the Charismatic Duo and I'm going to add this into my outer V. I love the matte eyeshadow formulation. It's so rich and it's blending beautifully. The shimmers, I think you definitely need to use wet to get like full intensity from them unless of course you like that really, really barely there kind of shimmer, but it's completely up to you. That's just my opinion. Next, I'm going to draw a very thin line on my upper lash line using the Amazing Liquid Liner Pen. I actually decided to just go for it and add a wing. I was a little bit scared because using a new eyeliner, you're never too sure if it's gonna go this way or if it's gonna go that way. But it was actually surprisingly really easy to create a really nice sharp wing. Okay guys, so I've just gone ahead and put some mascara, lashes, and concealer under my eyes. Um, now before we move on to any powders, I've got these two products to try out for you. They are the Luminous Cream Blushes. I have tried these over the top of powders and they do not do so well over powder. So I would definitely recommend applying these before your powder just on top of creams and liquids. So as you can see, this one is Champagne Life. It is a beautiful, more of a highlighter than a blush, but I'm just going to go ahead and take my finger and kind of just pat that on. Can you just see the beautiful like dewy kind of glow that gives? I think this would be perfect if even if you're not really wearing any makeup you could just like pat this on your cheeks just to give a beautiful glowy effect. Next color I have here is called Tropical Glow and as you can see this is definitely more of a blush kind of color. It's a beautiful peachy kind of coral shade. I think it actually goes beautifully with these eyes we have going on today. So I'm just going to take my fingers, I kind of just rub it around in there and then I'll just kind of, ooh. I think I'm not going to powder this part of my face just because I love that glistening glow so much. Um, but I am going to take a little bit of that translucent powder now and just set under my eyes and kind of around the perimeters because I do want to contour a little bit. And that will be a powder product, so I don't want it to kind of grab onto any of the loose, loose, wet liquid foundation. So just setting under the eyes. 
is the Youngblood Contour Kit. It comes in this beautiful box and then it shows you all the shades and contouring areas on the back. One thing I love about this palette is that the banana shade is really, really light and great for fair people. Um, and you get some really good contouring colors as well that aren't super dark, but you do have that option with this color. But then these ones aren't too dark. I'm gonna go ahead and contour with the lightest contour shade first. Just gradually start to add a little bit of shape to our face. This color is going to be really gentle because it is so light. I might start to mix in a little bit of this shade still with that one just to give it a little extra something something. I definitely won't be touching the really dark color today. And I'm going to kind of blend it upwards to give a sort of bronzy effect as well. Now I'm going to go in with that banana shade and just use that to brighten up under the eyes a little bit. You probably won't be able to see too much of a brightening effect on me at the moment because I am so pale. But um, the other day I had a bit of a tan on and I used this shade and it was amazing. This is the Youngblood Mineral Radiance. Um, this one is in the shade Sundance. And you've got kind of like a bronzy color, a blushy color, like a highlighty color. And you can either mix them all together and get this really nice like glow on your face or you can kind of just pinpoint certain colors. I did want to leave my cheeks like this, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to put on a little bit. Because I'm pretty pale, I'm going to avoid this really dark color and just kind of aim my brush over these two. Tap myself and just kind of gently, gently, just swoop that over my whole cheek just to add an overall glow. Bit on the forehead. For the inner corner highlight, I'm going to use that beautiful champagne life color and I'm just going to add that right into the inner tear duct area. Gives a beautiful shine. Can you see that right there? I've just gone ahead and added a brown eyeliner to my waterline. I'm going to take this color from the Virtue Duo and kind of just smoke that all along the lower lash line. Now I'm going in with the dark plummy brown from the Charismatic Duo and I'm taking that... Sorry, my dog's barking. And I'm taking that on a smaller brush and pressing that really tight to the lash line to smoke out that eyeliner and give a very sultry effect. Okay, so now it's time for lips and I've got the lip liner pencil in the shade Pout. This is such a pretty nude color and I really just wanted to do nude lips with this look seeing as the eye is quite dramatic. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply the lip liner all over and just keep it really simple. I love this color so much. I think it's beautiful. The formula was very creamy, but not too creamy where it was slipping and sliding all over the place. So I just went ahead and finished my look with a little bit of setting spray as I always do. And I am so happy with how this look came out. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me play with a new brand that I've never tried before. Let me know if you would like to see more of these kinds of videos. As always, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I guess I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.